the painting speaks well of uh, the tradition that Our Lady herself entrusted to Saint Dominic the propagation of the Holy Rosary. So he moved around preaching to pagans and to those wavering in their faith. Okay, so that's also one identifying mark of a Dominican. Dominican students also. You are also Dominicans, no? Dominican students. Kaya nga, kapkapin niyo yung bulsa ninyo. Sige nga. Anong meron? Cell phone. Okay. Saka wallet. Meron bang meron sa rin Sa bar? Okay. So, yung unang pumunta dito may rosary, bibigyan mo ng regalo. <laughs> okay, so just just to remind you, no? Just to remind you. Uh, the rosary should also be part of your handbag, of your packet, no? Dinadasan nyo rin. Eh, kahit hindi nyo dinadasan, dapat lagi na dyan sa sa bulsa ninyo. Huh? Or, it is a reminder for us that we are always guided by our Lady of the Rosary. Huh? Mas maganda kung lagi niyong dinatasan yan before, before sleeping. No? E kung minsan, minsan, nagdadasan daw tayo, eh, nakakatulog. It's okay. No? Ma Mama Mary is like a mother putting us to sleep. Iba nung maliit pa kayo, kinakanta kayo ng mga may sleep, my darling baby. Oh, ganun din. Kaya may nagkukumisal sa akin. Parang ko nalaman niya. May nagkukumisal ka sa akin. Father, I'm sorry. Nakatulog ako. Nagrurosaryo. It's okay. It's okay. Nakatulog. Eh, pagising yun. Dito po sinyo. <laughs> okay, so that's that's the rosary, no? Make it a point. Make it a point that you have a rosary in your wallet or in your pocket. Kung wala, katabi niyo, sabihin niyo, ay sige, exchange gift tayo. Bili mo ako ng grocery, bili mo din kita. Okay? okay, so that will be your assignment. And you will be prayer partners for life. No? Okay. Now, one of the prominent Dominicans, of course, we know si Santo Tomas. St. Thomas Aquinas was the student of St. Albert the Great. Ayan, St. Albert the Great. In the younger years of St. Thomas, he was such a low-profile student, and his fellow students had the impression that he was dumb. Bobo, no? Ay, bobo yan, hindi nagsasalita. And that, that's the reason why he was called the dumb ox. Dumb ox. Bobong ox. Okay? But in the famous words of his mentor, St. Albert, sabi niya, Wait for the swelling of this dumb box. Intayin nyo lang. Hmm? Aapaw din yan. Sasabog din yan. For he believed that Thomas was a, a good student, or an extraordinary student. The swelling of this dumb box produced one of the greatest literature in the church. We call the Summa Theologica. Okay, ayan. Uh, Summa Theologica, or sometimes Summa Theologiae, the summary of theology. It is a compendia of philosophical and theological studies. In fact, this masterpiece of St. Thomas became the reference book for unresolved discussions in the Council of Trent, when the Council Fathers would say, what does St. Thomas Aquinas say? Ano bang sinasabi ni Santo Tomas tungkol sa ganito? Halimbawa, what does St. Thomas say about art? What does St. Thomas say about beauty? Or what does St. Thomas say about good? Diba? So it is in this Summa Theologica or Theologia that St. Thomas gave the real definition of art. And as Thomasian students, you should at least know the definition of St. Thomas about art. So what does St. Thomas say about art? He defines art. This one, okay. 
madaling tandaan, the right way of making things. Okay, ulit nga. The right way of making things. Nasa ulo niya na yun, no? The right way of making things. Bakit yung mga artists making things? Because they imagine their they create things by by their hands. You make things, no? The right way, ha? Huh? The right way. Hindi the wrong way. Hindi the wrong way. The right way of making things. <coughs> and he says that art, and as Tomasian student artists, you should also uh, have prudence. Because prudence and art go together. Prudence, he says, is the right way of doing things. So making things, and doing things. No? Kaya lang, sinasabi natin, a prudent person is a wise person. Prudence makes you wiser. Because in prudence, you know which is right from wrong. Kaya dito na pumapasok yung sinasabi yung professional ethics in art. You should have prudence. So prudence, we can commit mistakes, we can commit mistakes, but we learn from that mistakes. That mistake, no? And then eventually in the future, you have the lesson. I will not do that. That is not the right thing to do. Or that is not the right way of making things, no? So that's prudence. So in other words, art and prudence are related because prudence must guide Remember, must guide imagination and creativity. You imagine things, no? And you create things. So there is the conformity of the mind and then the hands. So it's the mind that uh, guides the hands to do things right. And in doing so, you also do things right. So an artist does not simply make things, but also do things the proper way. Meaning that there is the coordination between the mind and the hands. John Paul, who is now a saint, says that, okay, an artist is capable of producing objects, no? By actualizing, actualizing one's uh, productive capabilities, giving aesthetic form to ideas conceived in the mind. On the other hand, it is prudence that gives moral value on the work of an artist when he does things right, giving them sense and meaning. So in other words, the work of art should be sensible and meaningful. And there are three things in art. No? Art guided by prudence arrives at the essential elements of what is good, the three things, good, beautiful, and true. Okay, the good, the beautiful, and true. Okay, ayan. Nauna na yung chocolate. What is good? Anything that is good is desirable. Sabi ni St. Thomas, anything that is good is desirable. You desire something good. No? You don't desire something that is not good. Alimbawa, nung malinit pa kayo, anong sinasabi? Ano ba ang gusto mo pag lumaki ka? I want to be an artist. I want to be a doctor. I want to be a lawyer. I want to be rich. I want to be famous. Di ba? Everything that is good. Sinasabi niyo bang, ako pag laki ko, gusto ko drug lord. Ako gusto ko ang criminal, the whole daughter. All the good things in the world you desire. No? You desire the good things. So good is something desirable. Anything that is good is an object of your appetite. Okay, oh, chocolate. Katatapos pa lang ng Valentine's Day. Okay, binigyan kayo ng chocolate. Bakit chocolate na? O bakit roses? Kasi yung love niya raw ay sweet. Diba? Kaya pag binigyan kayo ng, ng kahit katsilong uh, admirer nyo, nagpaparamdam na yan, na-sweet siya. No? O yung bulaklak, nagbigay ng bulaklak. 
Okay? Now, St. Thomas also distinguished three kinds of good. The useful good. Good ang isang bagay kasi nagagamit nyo. Okay? Cell phone. Ay, nagagamit nyo. Technical pen. Brush. A ball pen. Pera. All these things are useful. You can you can use them. So you decide them. No? Pleasurable good. Ano naman ang pleasurable good? Those things that give you pleasure. A food, drink, even sex. Pleasurable good. No? Anything that is good that satisfy you. Another thing, he says, the honest good. The good things that you value. Value the good things in life that satisfy your appetite. The right way, of course. Now, there is also what we call the apparent good, seemingly, apparently, good yan, pero hindi pala maganda. Like chocolates and ice cream. Apparently, it's good. But, pero pag sinobra nyo yun, diabetic na kayo. Hmm? Eh, yung mga diabetic, konti-konti na lang na sweets, chocolates, and ice cream. Although they are good, no? And sweet. Now, what is beautiful? St. Thomas says that something is beautiful when it is pleasant and it elates the mind and the heart, perceived by the senses. Okay, dapat may senses muna kayo. Uh, which is pleasant and relates the mind. Anong sinasabi niyo pag may nakita kayong maganda? Wow! Wow! 